Good afternoon, budding historians. This is an experiment that we're going to try out to see if it helps you deal with the uh, rather large amount of material that we're going to have to t discuss in the United States history course this year. Uh, it's an experiment. If it's not helpful, we probably won't repeat it, but we're going to give it a try. Um, um, one of the best known historians of the last hundred years or so was a fellow named Arnold Toynbee. And Toynbee criticized people who attempted to teach history as what he described just one fact after another. Uh, those weren't his exact words. I can't repeat his exact words, but you get the idea. Uh, just a big mass of names and dates and places and things of that nature that you have to remember. It's boring, and I know it, but unfortunately, uh, you're going to have to know some of this stuff. It's, it's expected for you to know um, when you go on further in your academic careers and, and uh, to some extent just for life in general. So we're going to talk about some of this. We are going to talk about names, places, dates, and things that are important in Chapter 1 of your United States History book. So get a pencil, get some paper, take this down. I'm going to go fast. Names first. Vasco da Gama. He was a Portuguese who sailed from Portugal to India around Africa, the first person to reach India from the west by sea. Next, Christopher Columbus. I think you've heard of him, but remember him. He reached America by sailing west. He thought he was going to India. He was wrong. Ferdinand Magellan, uh, a Spaniard. That is the English pronunciation of his name. The, the family name is Magallanes. Uh, there, there is a family here in the Rio Grande Valley named Magallanes. Anyway, he, sail, he led an expedition that sailed around the world. First person to do it. Hernando Cortez, another Spaniard who was the uh, leader of the army that conquered Mexico. Francisco Pizarro another Spaniard leader of the army that conquered Peru. Both of these events occurred uh, in the early 1500s. We'll talk about them more later. Ferdinand and Isabella, two people, Ferdinand and Isabella. Ferdinand was the king of Aragon, uh, yeah, king of Aragon. Isabella was the queen of Castile. Those were two smaller kingdoms in what is now Spain. When the two of them married, they did not unite the countries. Castile and Aragon continued for some time to be separate countries, but they combined the crowns so that their children and descendants after that were kings or queens of most of what we call Spain today. Ferdinand and Isabella, remember them. Prince Henry the Navigator. He was a, uh, uh, you'll have to uh, bear with me a moment. All right, I'm back. We were talking about Prince Henry the Navigator who lived in the 1400s. He was a younger brother of a king of Portugal who uh, wasn't a navigator. Uh, as far as we know, he never he never went to see himself at all, but he sponsored a number of, uh, of voyages of exploration, some of which we'll be talking about uh, um, uh, in, our, in our history lecture on Thursday. Uh, the thing to remember about Henry is that he was dead before Columbus ever sailed and all of the stuff that he did, he did before then. Uh, Queen Elizabeth I, who is not the current Queen of England, 
She was a queen of England in the late 1500s and early 1600s. Remember the name. Okay, the, the, those are all sailors and soldiers and explorers. Martin Luther, you've probably heard of him. He was a uh, uh, actually a Roman Catholic monk who uh, uh, said some things that upset some people and led to what is often called the Protestant Reformation. Uh, uh, religious issues are going to be important during part of this course. So you need to know who Martin Luther was. You also need to know about John Calvin. John Calvin, uh, a French uh, person who uh, had some religious ideas that did not suit um, the religious authorities and was expelled from France, but went to Switzerland, went to the city of Geneva, where he was able to put his ideas about uh, 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 Christianity and about the proper way to organize a church and the proper way to organize a society into practice. So remember the name, John Calvin. Okay, here are two more and then we'll be done with uh, names. Sir Francis Drake, an English uh, sailor, um, uh, depending on your perspective, either a war hero or a pirate, Sir Francis Drake. Uh, Sir Walter Raleigh, another Englishman. Uh, some people counted him as a thief and a pirate. He ended up getting his head cut off by Queen Elizabeth I. But before then, he sponsored the uh, first English attempts at settlement in North America. Sir Walter Raleigh, my dad used to smoke Sir Walter Raleigh brand pipe tobacco. Uh, so those are the names. Places that you need to remember. Spain, you know where it is on a map. Portugal, you know where it is on a map. India, remember that. Africa, remember Africa, it's important. Uh, remember the Cape of Good Hope, which is at the southern end of Africa. It's, it's what Vasco da Gama sailed around to reach India. Now then, the Indies. The Indies are the islands in what are now uh, the country of Indonesia, mostly, uh, off of the uh, southeastern coast of Asia. Uh, Burma, Java, Sumatra, and, uh, and a host of smaller islands called the Indies. That was where Vasco da Gama, Christopher Columbus, Ferdinand Magellan, and, and countless others wanted to go. Uh, and where Columbus thought he was when he was actually somewhere around Cuba or Puerto Rico. Uh, New France. That was a name given to what is now Canada. And New Netherlands, a name given to what is now New York. Remember those places. A few dates. 1492. You all know what happened. 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue. Uh, a lot of other things happened that year as well. In fact, there there was a, a book written a few years ago about a, a wide variety of events that occurred in 1492. 1519, that was the conquest of Mexico by Hernando Cortez. You read about him. Uh, 1519, I believe, was also the year that Martin Luther nailed his 95 theses onto the door of a cathedral in Germany, uh, thereby more or less sparking what is called the Protestant Reformation. 1588, 1588, that was the defeat of the Spanish Armada, an important event. We may talk a little bit about it. So we've done names, places, and things you should remember. 
or names, places, and dates. Now then, things you need to remember. One, tobacco. Remember tobacco. It's going to be important. Two, sugar. Remember that. It's important. Three, spices. Very important. Uh, that was what uh, Vasco da Gama, Christopher Columbus, and Ferdinand Magellan were all trying to get. Spices of different kinds. Gold, which could be found, uh, among other places, in Africa. And slaves which could be found among other places in Africa. Remember those things. Now then, it's not quite 11 minutes. We've discussed names, places, dates, and things. I'll tell you a little trick. You can print out a transcript of this video on YouTube. Remember these. We'll talk about them later, and let me know if you think this is helpful. I'll talk to you in class. Goodbye.